Hello there, um, welcome back. In this video, we will be able to evaluate expressions for given values of the variables. So what is an expression? What's a variable? What does this all mean? Ah, we'll see. So what is an expression? Good question. An expression is a group of numbers, symbols, and operators like plus and minus that show the value of something. So let me, oh, I was trying to highlight that. <laughs> an expression. Here are some examples. Two plus three is an expression because um, that's numbers and an operator, the plus sign. Three minus X is also an expression. That symbol X is called a variable, and we'll talk about that. These are expressions that show the value of something. It's really important to note that an expression does not have an equal sign. Does not have the equal sign. No equal signs in expressions. So let's look at the different parts of an expression. What is all? What are all the names for these? We're going to look at the example 2x plus 4y minus 9 and label kind of what each of these parts is. First are variables. Variables are symbols for a value that we don't know yet. Usually we see the letter X or Y, but it can be any symbol or letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. X and Y are pretty common though. So in this expression, X and Y are the variables. Next we have the coefficient. The coefficient is a number used to multiply a variable. Coefficients are attached to variables. They're together, they're married. So in this example, two is the coefficient of x, and four is the coefficient of y. So the coefficients are the numbers that are in front of variables, and those are multiplied together. So this two x really means two times x but it's kind of confusing to have that multiplication symbol and that x together. So we just write it as 2x, and that means they are multiplied. Next is a constant. A constant is a number on its own. It doesn't have a variable attached to it. It's just on its own. It's a plain old number. So in this example, 9 is the constant. It's got no variable. And we have the operator. This is a symbol that shows an operation. So some that we are familiar with are the plus sign, the minus sign, division, and the multiplication symbol. But like I said, we don't really see the multiplication symbol in, in expression sometimes because we just see them as numbers um, squished together. So the ones that we'll see a lot are the plus sign and the minus sign. There are the operators in our expression. Finally, there are terms. Each expression is made up of terms. Terms can be numbers, a variable, or a constant multiplied by a variable. In this expression, 2x is a term. So 2x is a term. 4y, oops, 4y is a term. And 9 is a term. Evaluating expressions. To evaluate algebraic expressions, substitute or replace the number of the x value for the x in the expression. So we're going to take where it says x and we're going to replace it with a number. Then use order of operations to simplify. Let's do the first example. Example number one. Evaluate 5x minus 2 for x equals 3. So we're going to take that x that's in the expression and substitute it with what we're given for x. So x is 3. We're going to substitute it in right here. And we're going to use this little table to help us out. So x is 3. And we're going to substitute this 3, this x, into 5x minus 2. So we're going to substitute it in. Ready? x is 3. 5 times 3 minus 2. So when I have these parentheses around the 3, that means we're going to multiply those numbers together. So 
So now I'm going to follow the order of operations. The order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So my parentheses are, are right here, and these, these are being multiplied together. So 5 times 3 is 15, and then I still have my minus 2. 15 minus 2 is 13. So we evaluated this expression and got 13. And a last example, evaluate 4 times x minus 1 for x equals 4. Here's our table. x is 4. We're going to take that 4 and substitute it in for x. So 4 times 4 minus 1. And we're going to do what's in the parentheses first. So 4 minus 1 is in the parentheses. 4 minus 1 is 3. And I'm still left with 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. I hope this helps. Practice a lot and you'll get good.